writing covalent formulas from names. Just like what we did on the last worksheet, where we were taking a compound and turning it into the name of that compound, now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take the name and make the compound from it. So in your notes, just like what we were doing before, we're going to do the opposite of it. Look at the prefixes before each element name. If there's a prefix, that is the element subscript. If there's no prefix, then there's no subscript. All right, if the prefix is mono, there's also no subscript because we don't write ones as subscripts. So here's the example, phosphorus pentabromide. Phosphorus has no prefix here. There's no di, tri, or anything in front of it. So I'm just going to write the symbol for phosphorus, which is P. Pentabromide has a prefix, penta. So I look up at my list and I know that penta is 5. You will want to memorize these for one of your quizzes, by the way. Penta is 5, so I put bromide, which would be bromine, because the ending, remember, we changed to ide, so it was bromine, and there's 5 of them, so I put Br for bromine and 5. Here's dinitrogen tetroxide, so dinitrogen, di meaning 2, and nitrogen being the symbol N, so N2, and tetroxide, tetra is 4, as we can see from our list up here. Tetra is 4, and oxide comes from oxygen, so O is my symbol for oxygen, tetra is 4, so I put O4. Dinitrogen, excuse me, dinitrogen, N2, tetroxide, O4. You're going to do the same thing for these, use these prefixes at the top, to figure out what these different uh, prefixes stand for as far as the suffix, excuse me, as far as the subscript is concerned. So diphosphorus, find phosphorus on your periodic table, write down its symbol and the number that di means for its subscript. Pentoxide, oxide remembers oxygen, write down its symbol and put the correct subscript from here. Be very careful to make your subscripts subscripts. A subscript, like a submarine goes below the water, a subscript goes below the writing. So these numbers that you're writing for subscripts should go down below your symbol. Okay, it should not be up on the same line as the symbol, so make sure it goes down a little bit lower. Uh, that way it'll actually look it's, like it's part of the compound. Also, don't leave a space in between your two symbols because we're trying to say that these are together in a compound. So don't put a P over here and then BR5 with a gap in between. We want it to look like an actual compound. So PBR5 would be written all together. If you do still have any questions, please make sure you ask.